back to the channel. So today I wanted to do a March Fave and Fails. I know it's kind of late for doing March, but I'm, I wanted to do this kind of video, so that's what I'm gonna do. It's my very first one, so I'm super excited. Uh, before we get started, I would like you guys, if you could so kindly, to subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. And, you know, of course, like, if you've liked the video, give it a thumbs up. And then, you know, leave a comment if you don't mind. So, anyway, so going for it, I purchased some of these items, not in March, like, you know, either before. And I've been using it for, like, a while. And I just noticed, like, really reaching for it, using them. Uh, so, yeah, I'm going to show you guys. So, the very first thing... I want to tell you about I'm gonna tell you about first like the hair care stuff that I got and you know try I'm gonna to try to keep it in like the same category realm so you guys won't feel like I'm like all over the place but I am all over the place looking at you guys I'm still trying to figure this all out so I right, so the very first thing is Monday hair care you guys know I did a video reviewing it uh, kind of like my first impressions and I highly recommend the shampoo like I got the smooth range and I use the conditioner too sometimes, but I'm never one to really use too much conditioner because my hair gets like super oily. So if I do use it, I use it like from here down and it works really good. And it smooths out my hair because you know, I have like, you know, the baby hair is like everywhere now that my hair is starting to finally grow back in. So if that's Monday Hair Care, you can get it at Ulta and I think Target now too uh, here in the US. So, uh, but yeah. Another thing I really love, and this is a Dollar Tree find, you guys, this shampoo scalp massager thing. D and I, when I seen it, I freaked out. It was like the last one there, and I'm like, oh, I always wanted to try one, and I never ever like go online to buy it. And it's like not one of those things where I think to buy it online, like when I'm purchasing stuff. So. When I seen this, I was like, oh, I gotta have it. It has like a little handle. It feels so good. And just talking about it, like I just wanna like do this in my head because it feels so good. And I have, I used to not, like I've been, it's like a back and forth battle with uh, dandruff. So I had it really bad, but then it went away. Now it's back. And I feel like the scalp like massager breaks it up and it, it's been, improving so I'm so excited so if you guys don't have one I highly recommend you can look at your Dollar Tree and see if they have them I know they also have a black one I just seen because I went to the Dollar Tree earlier today to get coupons and yes so that one performs but if you see this one definitely definitely get it because I love it I can't I keep talking about it <laughs> so another hair thing which isn't necessarily like a hair product but to me I use it for that and then the girls use it on their skin but it's the Kapari I got it at the Ulta 21 days of beauty I got it for like what like $14 uh, now the thing is the reviews on it says it's like a glorified like uh, kitchen oil so kitchen and coconut oil uh, yes and no because I've used like regular coconut oil you know that you buy at the store for your kitchen I've used that before and it to me that was like super super greasy which hence it's an oil it's gonna be greasy but it was over the top so I never really like, really used it used it but this stuff the Kapari like it's not as greasy I don't even know if that's making sense but yes it is overpriced so if you don't mind greasiness like extra greasiness or whatever then yeah by all means like go spend like five bucks on it like you know at the at the store uh, why not but this stuff I really do like it though um, I do it as like a hair treatment like I said I apply it through like through here like you know from my scalp all the way down to the middle it does say you can do it for your whole hair but like I said I get really oily hair quick and easy so I try not you know but anyway I'm getting off topic so what I do is I put it in there and then I leave it in for like about an hour because it says you at least have to leave it in to be effective for about 45 minutes. So I leave it in for like an hour. You can leave it overnight as like a overnight mask hair treatment, but I I can't stand the feel of it. Like overnight, like overnight, I just can't like, oh, I just, well, anyway. 
but then I wash it out. I'll shampoo my hair twice after. Like I'll do like, you know, scrub in like my shampoo, rinse it out and then scrub it in again and then leave it there for a few minutes and then they rinse it out. So that's how I've been doing my hair. Leave me a comment if you guys use like any kind of hair treatment, like what works for you guys, because I am on the hunt for good hair stuff. So yeah, so let me know. And then moving forward, we're gonna go, I'm gonna show you like one of my skincare, well, a couple of my skincare things that I really like. Uh, this one right here, it's the Acure, it's the Brightening Facial Scrub. The scrub, it's like really gritty. It gets in there. I only use it like every other day because uh, it is quite like intense and you could use it every day if you with, you know, like if you have dryness because I do get dryness through here sometimes and when I apply it, I scrub through here and I do like little circle motions everywhere. It just overall feels really good. It feels like when, when I use it, like my skin feels so clean. I'm like, yes, yes, yes. Love it, love it, love it. So, and then another skin thing that I actually really like is, and I know I've been saying, okay, I am oily and for the most part and I feel like with everything that I'm doing and introducing to my skin, it's just been improving the problems I have with oiliness. Like this right here, the sitar, I only know how to pronounce it and I'm not even gonna try, but it's the Tarte Face Oil. I got it, uh, the small one at Ulta for like 16 bucks and I've been using it pretty much every day since I got it and it's been about like, you know, close to a month I think. And I still have so much in there because I only put like a drop. But my pores, and many of you like on Instagram, like I've been telling about like, you know, that if you guys have like large pores, like this stuff I swear by it. Like I use it at night. Like I just put like a dot on after my shower and just rub it in. Or sometimes I will use it before I put on my makeup. And I swear my pores are shrinking. They are getting smaller and it's so, so exciting. And I know it's because of this oil because I don't really use too many face products right now. So I, I know it's this. So I highly recommend you guys start, try the Tarte oil. Uh, and you can use it like not only on, for your face, but like all over your body. It says, yeah, you can use it in your hair, you can use it on your nail cuticles. So, so many benefits if you want more out of it. You can definitely get more uh, ways to use it, more different ways. Right. And, overall for my pores like hands down you guys need to give it a try go try even if you're oily skin like I said I got I have oily skin and I feel like it is helping keep it under control and I do use a moisturizer too as well every day so I feel like in conjunction with everything it just kind of is getting it under control more so yay anyway <laughs> so so next I'm going to show you guys this one scent. I am obsessed with, with things that smell good, like way too obsessed. Like I know it's good to smell good, but like you, you guys need to know, like I will sit there, like I'm the type I will, when I do laundry, I will smell the laundry sheets. Like it's so weird, but it's so true. Like I'm like, oh my God, it smells so good. I can't stop smelling it. But anyway, um, it's from Bath and Body Works, the Hibiscus Paradise. Bam, it says, it is pink hibiscus, juicy guava, sun-kissed coconut. Mm, sounds so good. And in the description is the best part. It says, embark on a journey to the tropics where the warmth of the sun and the brightness of exotic florals evoke tranquil days in paradise. Who, who doesn't want to wear that? Who doesn't want to feel like you're in paradise? <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm so silly. But anyway, but uh, yeah, I really, really do like the smell of it. I'm going to smell it right now because I have this urge to smell it. Mm, you guys, it smells so good. It smells, oh, it just smells like summer. It's like, it makes me so happy. Uh, and with my scents too, like I like to mix them. So like I'll wear this and then I'll also wear like champagne toast, you know, like a, for like a perfume. Uh, I always, I wear more than just one smell and that might be some like an overkill and it kind of is like when I apply everything in the morning but when you leave out of the house and you get a good whiff of me you're like oh <laughs> I'm being so but yeah so I I really do do recommend if you guys don't go to Bath and Body Works like you guys need to go I'm sure most of you guys that watch me 
do, but I'm telling you, that's where it's go to bed, about it works. So moving into makeup. Okay, so I recently bought this. It's the e.l.f. Lip Plumping Gloss. I've tried a lip plumper like a long time ago, and I mean like years ago, and it was by, I wanna say Tarte. It was either Tarte or Too Faced. I'm pretty sure it was Tarte though. And when I applied it, like my lips felt like they were on fire, on fire. And so I'm like, yeah, never do that again. And I hadn't until I decided, I kept looking at this color because the shade is Cosmo Pink. And I, every time I go to the store, I'm like, oh my God, she's so beautiful. She's so beautiful. I just wanted to try it. I just want to try it. So I got it. And it doesn't burn. Like it, it does have a tingle, but it doesn't burn. And I just want to show you guys, look how pretty that is. Like. Bam, there's just one little swipe. And I only, with this, put it on like just a little bit and I love it. And I don't really wear it to plump my lips because I have small lips anyway, which I'm totally cool with. I don't mind small lips, but yeah. What do you guys think? I think it's pretty. But another lip gloss. Okay, so this one is gone. I have, I had another one too. It's, it was in the peach. It's gone too. I, I used it, like I applied it so much. But anyway, it's the NYX. This is Milky Gloss, and this is I can't. Even, oh, Milk It Pink. It's in shade Milk It Pink, and this stuff is smelled so good. Mm. And I don't know. I just couldn't stop applying it. And the thing about me is I can't stand the feeling of my lips being bare or dry even. Like I have to have a chapstick, I have to have a lip gloss, a something. If you look at my purse now, like I right now currently probably have like four or five lip glosses. I'm telling you guys, I cannot stand the feel I like of dryness on my lips. Like I wake up in the middle of the night and put on lip gloss. It's that serious. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, I really like that. Another lip product that I got for free because I bought when I bought those two glosses. It was like 17 bucks all together for the two. You got like a free NYX thing. And uh, I got this as another like lip like filler, I guess it's like a filler instinct. It smells good, it applies, it's so pretty. i uh, just open up and show you guys really quick. It's like that. So I do like it, uh, I use that every once in a while. Uh, another thing that I'm just trying out to see if it works is the Rimmel um, Lash Accelerator. And then it has like a, a brush tip applicator and then for your mascara, like for your eyes. And you can use it on your eyebrows and your lashes. It's supposed to like lengthen them. And so far I've been using it only for about one week now. And I've noticed that my eyelashes, because I haven't, I don't put it on my eyebrows because my eyebrows to me are already full. So I don't want more fuller eyebrows. I want like big bushy eyebrows. But I noticed my eyelashes are more curly. Like I would do a close up, but it wouldn't even make sense because I had mascara on and you can't like really tell. Uh, so, but yeah, I'm gonna be updating you guys on this like quite frequently. And then if you follow me on Instagram, I'm about to do a one week update on there. So make sure you guys follow me on Instagram. I will have it below. Another really like this. It's the it's older actually. It's um I thought it was new when I seen it, but it's not. It's the Falsies Lash Lift from Maybelline. You guys, this is amazing stuff. It's amazing mascara. I have it on today. It's so pretty. But it's like that. That's like the mascara wand. It's so beautiful. It when you apply it, it separates your lashes. It's really, really cool. Like it separates them. It gives you length, volume, it gives you everything. So check it out if you haven't. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys. Another thing that I actually like in makeup wise is I am obsessed, you guys. I know it's been all the talk on YouTube, Instagram, everywhere, but it's the KVD Beauty. Uh, it's called the Good Apple Foundation Balm. Found, yeah, it's a good apple. And um, it's a skin perfecting foundation balm. I'm telling you guys, I swear, this stuff like makes my skin so even. And I know some people say because like they have oily skin, it makes them like more greasy throughout the day. Let me tell you, I have a little hack for that. Okay, so what I do sometimes, I will put this on if I'm like, uh, I know it's gonna be like a little warm, or I'm gonna be doing a little more, like whatever. 
I will put on this one, the other one that's like highly talked about. It's the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear. I'll put this over top and combined these two are fire. Like you guys have to try it. If you guys try it, please let me know. So I'll just like pat this on like over it and kind of, you know, it's just a flawless finish. Like let me tell you, it's so, 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 so beautiful. You guys need to go check it out. And uh, so a fail that I had would have to be then we're gonna get into my fails for just a sec and then I will uh, try to wrap up the video. Uh, this is my fail and I mean what works for me, what doesn't work for me can be quite opposite for you guys so but in my experience because I don't like being negative or anything like that but I'm just being honest. The L'Oreal uh, Paris it's an infallible full wear. It's not really a fail it's like a 50-50 like Sometimes like when I apply it, I feel like it's too thick. Other times when I apply it, I'm like, oh, this is pretty like, but I'll notice like throughout the day, like down like through here, it looks like patchy, like almost, but I do like it. So I, if I use it, I do very, very light, but it's not one of my favorite concealers. Uh, but yeah, so that, that, that was one of my little fails. And then another thing that I didn't care too much for is this right here it's the nyx ultimate edit it's the brights it's that bright I, it's brights however you say it and it, she looks beautiful i mean it's stunning like if you're like wanting a bright look but it's not it's deceiving it's not very pigmented uh i mean you can use it and still get payoff but it's not bright bright like if you're looking for bright probably go somewhere else like another another palette I don't I don't like being negative I, I'm sure you can tell but it that's just it's something I don't really like like but anyway another thing I have so many products I know uh that I really have been liking and you guys know if you follow me on Instagram I do love Francesca's a lot and these earrings I'm gonna I haven't worn these ones yet because like they all came together uh, but the ones I wear the most right now currently is I mix and match the star and the, and the moon. I don't know if you can see this. Oh, there's a little moon guy and this is a star and I'll wear one in each ear and it looks so cute. I love it. I like, you know, switching it up a bit. Uh, and I think that's it. Like I have so many products I actually want to show you guys that's like out in front of me, but I don't want to make this video like super, super, super long, but I just want to show you guys some of my favorites, some of my fails, and you know, let's see how this does on YouTube. And if you guys like this video, please, you know, subscribe if you haven't. Please leave a comment. I know many of you guys watch my videos, but uh, I would like to interact with you guys too as well. So if you could kindly leave me a comment, even just saying hi. Uh, if you like this video, please leave a like and uh, i hope you guys have a great day let me know if you guys want to see one for april all right bye guys love you